answering Google's most asked questions about Selena Quintanilla. Who killed Selena Quintanilla? Selena was tragically murdered by Yolanda Saldivar in March 1995. At the time of this recording, Yolanda will be eligible for parole in nine months. I found some documents and, uh, that I showed to you that uh, proved that she was stealing money from the fan club. If she's been uh, caught stealing, why do you have to kill the person that supposedly you claim to be your friend, you know? Why don't you come out here and, and shoot me? Why shoot her? How old was Selena Quintanilla when she died? Selena was 23 years old at the time of her death, just weeks before her 24th birthday. How many kids did Selena Quintanilla have? Selena had no children in her lifetime. Her autopsy reveals that she was not pregnant at the time of her death. ¿Tú crees que Selena estaba embarazada cuando murió? No, 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 no. Estábamos hablando de eso, de, de queremos empezar con, uh, con nuestra familia. How tall was Selena Quintanilla? According to her driver's license, Selena was five feet and five inches tall. Where is Selena Quintanilla buried? Selena was laid to rest at Seaside Memorial Park in Corpus Christi, Texas. Who received Selena Quintanilla's money? Selena's estate was divided among her family and husband, Chris Perez, who receives a 25% share. Cualquier dinero que entraba se partía en cuatro partes. Selena, Amy, Suzette y yo. Le di el, la parte de Selena un cuarto a Chris Pérez, el esposo de ella. Él ha estado recibiendo dinero por 26 años desde que murió Selena. El público no sabe eso. ¿Eh? Y me critican a mí. Y Chris... ¿Va a seguir recibiendo dinero? Él va a reci seguir recibi recibiendo hasta que se termine todo. ¿Te duele que te critiquen tanto, Abraham? Bueno, al principio sí, pero ya no. Who dated Selena Quintanilla? Selena was married to her band's guitarist, Chris Perez. The pair began their relationship in the fall of 1991 and eloped eight months later in April 1992. Um, did Selena have a boyfriend before Chris? Yeah, she talked to she talked to somebody before Chris. Um, but I took care of him. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't show around anymore. How do you pronounce Selena Quintanilla? A lot, you, you know, a lot of people say, ever. I know, but I've, I've heard, you know, people say Selena. It's Selena. Oh, okay, I'm going to call people and say, hey, it's Selena. She don't like to be called Salinas. 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 They, yeah, that's why that part of the movie where everything for Salinas, anything for, that's why they stuck that in there because she hated to be called Salinas. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. She would like that, but I get it. Yeah, yeah. She was like, no, it's Selena. <laughs> it's Selena. Where did Selena Quintanilla live? Selena's home was located on Bloomington Street in Corpus Christi, Texas. Who lives in Selena's house? Um, family, um, some of our family members live. Uh, my uncle and aunt live in the Selena, or uh, our old house. Where was Selena Quintanilla born? Selena was born in Lake Jackson, Texas in 1971. This was Selena's childhood home here in Lake Jackson. What was Selena Quintanilla's earliest recording? Selena's earliest recording was a song titled I'm in the Mood for Love. She was between the ages of four and five years old. Okay, aquí está 
Serina, más o menos como cuatro años y medio uh -huh. a cinco años de edad. Uh -huh. Can I ask that kind of thing? Um, sing that first. Okay. I'm in the How did Selena Quintanilla learn Spanish? Selena learned Spanish with the guidance of her father. What's this? It's a song in Spanish. But I don't know Spanish. Say that word, relo. Relo. Put your tongue on the roof of your mouth and then blow her up. Did you feel it? Do it again. Say that word, relo. Relo. She furthered her language skills through music, soap operas, and Berlitz tapes. Where did Selena Quintanilla go to school? Selena was withdrawn from public education during the eighth grade while attending West Oso Middle School. Uh, so, ¿estás yendo a la escuela uh, no. full time or well, correspondence? Well, I have correspondence courses. Uh -huh. And I graduate, I was supposed to graduate at the age of 15, but I got real lazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I graduate next year. She received her high school diploma in 1989. What was Selena Quintanilla's final recording? Selena's final recording was a song titled Puede Ser. Written by Chris Perez and Ricky Vela, the song was originally intended for a different artist. And uh, she heard it over and over and over that day because this guy just couldn't get it right. Or, you know. <laughs> Poor guy, I heard you say this story and I feel so bad for the guy. Talk about pressure, man. And, and the funny thing about it is that, uh, you know, I, that day, and she was uh, cleaning the house, you know what I mean? So the whole, because I was in a room, holed up in a room with the door closed, working with this guy for hours. So she already knew the song by the time the guy left. She came in and just did it in one take. From beginning to end, it was all her. So there is a version, um, the original version is just that. You know, and then, then at the end, she started singing silly and she starts laughing and we got all that on tape. I have all that. What was Selena Quintanilla's top-selling album? Selena's most successful album is Dreaming of You. Who were the finalists for the Selena 1997 film? Click on the video on screen to find out.